الرحمن الرحیم دس از دا سیکنڈ لیکچر آف دس سیریز ای ایس پی سکس ون ڈبل سکس اینڈ دس لیکچر از اباؤٹ ای ایس پی ڈیولپمنٹ ای ایس پی ڈیولپمنٹل اسٹیجز انفیکٹ سنس اٹس انسیپشن ان نائنٹین سکسٹی ای ایس پی ڈیولپس ایٹ ڈفرینٹ اسٹیجز اینڈ وی کین لسٹ دی اسٹیجز ایز فائیو ڈیولپمنٹ فیزز آف ای ایس پی in the first move from the egp english for general purposes to esp english for specific purposes was est english for science and technology and the concept behind this working was of special language which is called register analysis the concept of special language register analysis this started with the works of writers in 1960 and 1970 like the works of Peter Stevens, Jack Hewer and John Swale. In linguistics, a register is a variety of language used for a particular purpose or in a particular social setting. It is the stylistic, functional stylistic variety of any language. For example, when speaking in a formal setting, an English speaker may be more likely to use features of prescribed grammar such as pronouncing words ending in ing with a velar nasal instead of a lar nasal walking not fucking and choose more formal words like father as compared to dad and child versus kids etc and refraining from using contractions said want and and then when speaking in an informal setting so In sociolinguistics, the term register refers to specific lexical and grammatical choices as made by speaker. Depending on the situational context, the participants of a conversation and the function of the language in discourse. So the concept of special language or register analysis, this was the first stage of the development of ESP which focused on language at the sentence level. The stage that took place mainly in 1960 and early 1970 uh, operating on the basic principle that English such as for the electrical engineering, for mechanical engineering, for the aviators or for the doctors constituted a specific register different from other disciplines. Now the analysis is aimed to identify the grammatical or logical features of these registers. leading to register analysis based syllabus and this was the first stage of the development of ESP from the general purpose English towards the specific. The concept of special language or register analysis, the reason to analyze register to make the content and course relevant to the learner's need. If a learner is from the uh, medical profession, so definitely the content and the course will be relevant to that. The material will be extracted from that medical field to learn a language forms according to usage in the relevant field the forms the content and focus on sentence level in this first stage which is the register analysis or the concept of special language stage the focus was on a sentence level and this in this developmental stage um, english used for specific purposes was uh, in the form of inclusion of compound nouns conditional models etc now the second stage was uh, higher from the sentence level and that was on the basis of the analysis was on the basis of discourse In linguistics a unit of language longer than a single sentence is called discourse more broadly the use of spoken or written language in a social context So discourse analysis the study of the ways in which language is used in text and context and this is also developed in the 1970s discourse analysis concerns itself with the use of language in a running discourse continued over a number of sentences and involving the interaction of speaker or writer and auditor or reader in a specific situational context and within the framework of social and cultural conventions so beyond the sentence level when the analysis was beyond the sentence level and we embark on the domain of discourse level and this is the second level of the development of 
are the second phase of the ESP development. The ESP, ESP shifted focus from the sentence level to the discourse or rhetorical level and it was identified that difficulties of learner was not due to the lack of knowledge of systems of English but not familiar with the English usage. So the practical usage was focused in this uh, in discourse or text in context or in situation use. So composition of language is not important as compared to how sentences are used in performance of different communicative acts. In fact, the paradigm is shift from the competence to the performance. The competence is what a person can do and performance what a person is doing. So is doing is more important as what a person can do. A register analysis focused on sentence grammar but this stage beyond the sentence level or discourse level stage advanced to understand how sentences combine in discourse to produce meaning. Main concern with the organization of pattern in text and the rhetorical difference of organization of text pattern between two specialized specific area subject specific text in fact this is the important point of this slide. Beyond the sentence rhetorical or discourse analysis, this was the second phase of the development of ESP and the focus on language was about the sentence level. Ever in Hughes Heavy's 1971 found the school textbooks neglected some of the language forms commonly found in the science text, compound noun, passive, conditional, etc. So focus on understanding how sentences were combined in discourse to produce meaning. The semantic level, the typical teaching materials based on discourse approach taught students to re recognize textual patterns and discourse markers mainly by means of text diagram exercises. In the context of the sentence is also important in creating meaning. So the central feature of ESP textbook at this phase aimed at developing a knowledge of how sentences are combined in text in order to produce a particular meaning lead to text diagram exercises. Now the third phase of this ESP development was target situation analysis. A person when facing a situation, the target situation, for example, if a person is doctor and he has to deal with the patient, so in that target situation analysis and how the things will be like that, how the ESP or the English will be helpful in that target situation. Nothing new was introduced in this stage, in fact. But the existing knowledge was taken on scientific guidelines to adopt procedures to meet the needs of the learner learner oriented approach versus content form for the first time in this third stage learner learner is focused and the importance is given to learner a target was enable the target was, uh, target was to enable learners to act and function in target or in given situation or uh, given by using the language they learn and this for this reason identifying target situation linguistics analysis of that situation and devising course of ESP this process is called need analysis because if we are putting someone in the target situation so definitely will be defining the needs that what will be the needs of that situation uh, for that particular learner. So Chambers 1980 term this as target situation analysis. The most thorough explanation of target situation analysis is the system set out by John Munby in communicative syllabus design in 1978. Munby model produces a detailed profile of learners need in terms of communication purposes, communicative setting, the means of communication, language skills, function, structures, etc. Now in this stage, the language process was systematized and learner need was given a central position. This concept could not flourish. The concept of need was too simple. So target situation analysis, need analysis, how ESP developed again later third stage. 
aim to take the existing knowledge and set it on the more scientific basis by establishing procedures for relating language analysis more closely to learners reason learning learners need was placed at the center of the course design and then moving to the fourth stage or fourth fourth phase of the development of esp that is called skills and strategies the first two stages of esp development were just limited to analysis of surface form of language sentence level and register analysis even target situation analysis did not dealt deep in surface form when analyzing learners need so the fourth stage of esp analyzed deep than surface and consider not language itself but the thinking process associated with the language use the cognitive process in fact which is very important as a uh, same as the affective now the principal idea behind skilled center approach is that all languages regardless of surface structure have common reasoning and interpretation process which enable us to derive meaning from course so no need to focus on surface structures the focus should be on underlying interpretive strategies focus on scientific specific register is not necessary because underlying processes are not specific to any subject register so reading or listening strategies are em emphasized in this stage meaning is retrieved from written or spoken discourse these hints can be traced to cognitive learning theories where the mental process where our the thinking process is very important and language learner are treated as thinking being as in affective as uh, where the learner is uh, taking as emotional being or feeling being who can be asked to observe and verbalize the interpretive processes they employed in language use skills and strategies one in two stages of the esp development had been on the surface of the language the third target situation analysis tsc did not really change the above features because it analysis and learner needs still looked mainly at the surface linguistics feature of the target situation the fourth stage attempt to look below the surface and to consider not the language itself but the thinking process that underlie language use the principal idea behind the skill center approach is that underlying all language use there are common reasoning and interpreting process lead to notion no need to focus closely on the surface form of the language and fifth was a learning center approach all previous stages are flawed because all they are based on description of language use whether this description is of surface surface form first two stages are whether processes beneath the surface form third and fourth all is real with what people do with language esp is not concerned with language used but with language learning so simply describing what people do with languages will not be enough to mean enable someone to learn it so simply mastering grammar and reading dictionary will not be enough to learn a language a valid approach how to learn a language esp main concern knowing a language and knowing about a language knowing a language a person may be well aware of the grammatical rules and other rules of ar the vocab of some language but knowing about language how we are using that particular grammar and that vocab in practical Uh, uh life or in real life so the fifth stage of esp is the learner center approach this stage differentiates between language use and language learn the focused the focus should rather be on underlying interpretive strategy which enable the learner to cope with the surface surface form such as guessing meaning of word from the context using visual layouts to determine the type of text focus on the register in unnecessary in this approach because the underlying process are not specific to any subject so which of the stage outlined above has your country experience this is a question that in your country which stages of this experience of these 4 3 5 developmental stages are there in your country and why do you think est english for science and technology has set the trends in the development of esp 
what do you think about this these are the two questions which are left for those who are watching this video and you should think about this and this was the end of the lecture